Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would do a little mini Joann's haul since I'm there like almost every week. <laughs> that's like my go-to store just because that's basically what's readily available for me if I ever need some new fabrics or if I get that like itch to get some new fabric. I developed quite a big stash of fabric and I keep buying fabric and I'm like, oh, I want to make this, I want to make this, I want to make this. And then like the project list just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I'm like, oh my gosh, but <laughs> we're going to get it under control and we're going to try doing these projects, which I already have tried a couple of them. Anyways, back to the haul. <laughs> when I like something, I really like something and I love this fabric. Um, so What's cool about it is they were all in the clearance section. Um, I think they have like a purple dot, a pink dot, a lime green dot. So depending on the color, it's gonna be like 50% off, 60% off, 70% off. So I think this was, was either 60 or 70%. It's been in clearance for a long time. Um, no one has really bought this fabric, but I think it's pretty awesome. I bought it in three different colors. The first color is this beautiful, it's like a blush, blush pink. It's like really nice. This fabric is like, has beautiful, beautiful drape and it's really soft. If anyone follows me on Instagram, I made a dress for frugal frogs. I chose the wide strap maxi dress from Peppermint Magazine and it turned out so lovely. This material is perfect. It has the perfect drape for like a maxi dress. So um, yeah, I got it in the blush pink. I got some more of the olive green, which I love. I just finished a project with this and um, it was super fun not the right material for this particular pattern. I used that all up and you know, I want, I wanted more. Here we go. So I have an olive green one. And the last color that I purchased was this beautiful powdery blue color. I don't have any particular plan for any of these fabrics, but they were just too beautiful to pass up. So if you have any suggestions on what I can make with these, I would love your advice. I also have, like I said, the lavender. I have a little bit left over of that. And I have a navy blue that I want to make like a drapey trench jacket. And then I got a little bit of the white to make like a cute summer button up shirt. Um, so yeah, that's it for the tensile twill. The next fabric that I got is this beautiful and super soft bubble gauze fabric. It's 100% cotton and it's just giving me like Moo Moo vibes. I'm really into like Moo Moo maxi dresses right now. So I thought that this would be fantastic. And this is the bubble gauze in the black rainbow color. It's lovely. And the next material we got is something super fun. It's from the Pop Collection and it is a bright yellow gingham seersucker fabric. And it's 100% cotton. Um, again, I think this would look awesome as like a little mini moo moo dress of some sort. I think I want to go more of the girly route and um, use this for some sort of dress. So, super cute. So there's a tank top that I own by Free People that I love. I am going to attempt to self-draft that. Stay Stitch Pattern Company just came out with the Lola tank pattern. Super cute. I'm so tempted to buy it, but I know that I can totally self-draft it myself, so that's what I'm gonna do. Plus, I have my mom's serger as well, so. 
anyways, the two knit fabrics that I got, the first one is this dark mauve color and um, it's really, really soft and I love it. So this is 63% modal and 37% polyester. Um, pretty sure I haven't tested like the whole stretch thing, but it seems like it has really nice stretch to it. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited to make a tank top out of this cause it's like, it's nice and thin and comfortable, but not so thin that it's see-through and it's a beautiful color. And the second material, I was trying to look up information online um, and I, can't, I couldn't find it online. So according to my receipt, this is a surf spray color. Um, and I'm assuming it has more spandex in it. Also, the stretch is really awesome. It's a nice red. So, um, yeah, wish me luck on these. And then the last one, which is kind of the wild card out of all of them. Um, <laughs> I've been like eyeing this fabric for a long time. Um, it's kind of ridiculous, but really fun and um, really bright and colorful. This is it. And it's like, it's like, 80s 90s awesome I don't really know what I want to make out of it um I can see it in like a couple of things like a button-up short sleeve shirt almost like a Hawaiian shirt or um even like a romper type situation or you know shorts and a top kind of set I'm very new at knowing what fiber content these things are but it's super drapey um, this was in the silky print section. Um, it's not shiny. You know what? Now that I think about this, it's polyester. I'm probably 99% sure this is polyester. That's okay. It's still cute. I still love the colors and it's super fun. And I think that's it for the fabrics. So next up, are the patterns and let me tell you my brain like couldn't handle the fact that uh they were having like a dollar 99 sale on patterns and i didn't know that this was like kind of a recurring thing that happened so the first time i noticed that there was a sale i was like oh my god give me all of them i want this i want this i want this because i didn't think that it would happen again well a year later, it literally happens like every week. <laughs> I have grown quite an awesome pattern library because of all these sales. Who, like, I, I can't pass up patterns if they're $1.99. Like, that's just bananas to me. I try to limit myself now on the patterns that I have. That being said, I still buy them. <laughs> Anyways. Let me show you the three that I purchased this last time. The first one is McCall's 8207 and it's a pair of pants with some suspenders. It's giving me some 90s vibes. I, I'm pretty sure I owned a pair of these like back in junior high and um, yeah, it could be disastrous, but it could be real cute. So, um, you know, I figured $1.99, let's get it. And I'm thinking about doing view C. So we'll see. The second pattern that I got is super cute. It's M8108 and I particular, particularly love view A. It's like a baby doll dress with off the shoulder sleeves. Um, it's funny because I'm not a big off the shoulder type person, but for some reason, I really want to try making this dress. Um, but I do love all of the dresses. I also love the short sleeve puffy sleeve um, and the long dress. So um, yeah, we'll give this a go. Um, this actually could look really cute with this yellow gingham. It'll be a really loud dress. However, I mean, 
I picked this yellow, so, you know, loud and proud, you know? <laughs> so that's McCall's 8108. And the last one that I purchased was this is McCall's 8213. And um, like I said, I'm really into like the Moo Moo dress vibes. So I'm thinking of actually with my rainbow bubble gauze fabric, I would love to make view C. Um, I love all of them though. And depending on if the heat keeps, you know, picking up here, um, might make the hem a little shorter. We'll see, but I'm really loving view C for the, that particular fabric. So that was my most recent haul for Joann's. Again, I'm there like almost every week, so it's dangerous. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, click a like, click subscribe, and I'll see you the next time. Thanks so much. Bye.